Hey guys, Tim Deer, aka FCFan21, bring you week 8th, yes, week 8th of the SPF West Division National Dex League. Um, <clears throat> my, stand, uh, my voice is a bit off today, um, screamed a bit too much yesterday, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, was at a pretty important game for my football club, so, um, and I am talking about the European football, not the American football teams. Um, yeah, European football is way better. Um, looking at the table, we take on SFJ coach of the Seattle Scream Tills, and they are currently in third with a 6-1 and one record and a plus 6 differential. We are currently in sixth as the second best team with a 3-4 and four uh, record because there are two four five teams and we are second best of those so we are sixth with a minus two differential um i do think that to a w today or a w next week will be enough to clinch playoffs but um yeah that's gonna be a hard feature in itself so um yeah let's have a look at my opponent's team the Seattle Screamtails have a pretty freaking scary team. Um, to start off with, a Mega Alakazam that only has one kill this season. <coughs> um, yeah, pretty mad that he only has a single kill with it because Megazam with a incredibly high speed and special attacks that is very hard. Um, not to get killed by. Um, second up is his kill leader, the Mel Metal. Uh, Mel Metal has a eight and three record, and he is everything Mega Alakazam is not. Uh, Mel Metal is uh, hard hitting on the physical side, has a high defensive stat, and is very slow. <laughs> so, like I said, the complete opposite of Mega Alakazam. Uh, Iron Bundle only brought through three games this season, but has a 5-1 record. <clears throat> um, yeah, high speed, high special attack stat. Water and Ice um, is a pretty good combination. Can hit uh, water types for super effective damage with uh, Freeze Dry. Um, Zarud, only a 2-5 record this season in five games. But Zarud is one of his star captains with Dark Fairy and Fighting. Um, yeah, I'm kind of surprised he didn't got more kills with it because in prep that thing is very scary. <coughs> Again, sorry for my voice. Um, next up is Talonflame with a six and seven record. Um, every game he was brought, he died, but he did get in a couple of kills, so. Uh, can be either defensive, offensive, specially offensive, physical offensive. Um, yeah, it's a Teleflame. Raging Bolt has a 3-1 record in three games. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty decent uh, record. Surprised he didn't bring it more often, but it's whatever. Nielego is also one of the Terra Captains with a 7-4 record in four games. Um, Rock, Electric and Grass. So... Could be very annoying to break through. Um, <clears throat> this thing is a speedy special attacker. Can get uh, out of control if he gets a beast boost up. So let's make sure he won't get that. Um, he has a couple of new mods that he hasn't brought yet so far. Uh, the clay doll wasn't brought. Um, and that's a replacement for the pile swine I believe. Uh, Mystery fist wasn't brought. Um, the replacement of Indeedy and Ferd and Hakamo <coughs> both weren't brought. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if all of those are uh, transactions looking at the points, but whatever. Um, yeah, Claydol, Misrefus, Ferd and Hakamo weren't brought, so we'll see if he decides to bring one of those this week. If not, whatever i still prep for them kind of so let's have a look at what i will bring let's start off of course with juggernaut the celestila 
This thing has been very well to me so far. And this week we bring max, uh, max defense, max special attack. Final 4 in HP because I can get toxic. Uh, now I think of it, I am going to take the 4 HP in, uh, and put it into special defense. Because of substitute, wasn't really thinking straight I guess. Um, modest nature, beast boost, fire, fire blast, air slash, lead sheet, substitute. Um, it's first because I already have uh, Celestila normally as the first page. So, but this one is uh, this one was one of the things I uh, put in last because I really wanted a counter for the Zarud, and this thing was my best option for that. Um, if Zarud terrestrializes, I can lead sheet it. I can put up a sub. Um, combination of Fire Blast and Air Slash is always at least neutral against it, if not uh, super effective. Uh, Fire Blast is also great for things like the Mel Metal um, or just regular hard hitting move. And Air Slash is only resisted by the Nihi Lego and the Raging Bolt and the Mel Metal, but I still have Fire, Fire Blast for that, for those. So, um, yeah, only Nihi Lego can really counter me, but if I have a sub up, I can uh, Leech Seed it first and whittle it down if he can break through sub immediately. Uh, next up is going to be Deadshot the Dragapult as a mixed breaker. Max attack, 44 special attack, 212 in speed with the naive nature and the infiltrator ability. Um, with naive nature, 12, uh, 212 speed, I am sure I will outspeed Iron Bundle without a speed boost. Um, expert bell to hit uh, my moves 20% harder if it's super effective. Uh, Dragon Dart, Sucker Punch, Thunderbolt, Flamethrower. Um, Dragapult's Sucker Punch is a likely Oko against Mega Alakazam. If not, it's a clear two shot. Which, uh, and it needs a little bit of chip, I believe. Something in the range of 10 to 15%. So one round of spikes or stealth rocks. So that's really uh, achievable. Um, Dragon Darts is just a great stab option that's uh, resisted by the Mel Metal. And since he doesn't have a fairy type except Zerut Terra Fairy, um, Dragon Darts is very spammable. Uh, Thunderbolt and Flamethrower. Thunderbolt for things like the Talon Flame and the Bundle. While Flamethrower do a lot against Mel Metal. Uh, well, mainly the Mel Metal. But um, yeah, with the mix set, uh, mix, uh, mix set, I hope I can really surprise him. And break through a lot of his stuff. Uh, number three is going to be Spit Ups, the Spider Man, as a Hazard Setter and a Revenge Killer. Max HP, Max Special Attack, 8th in Special Defense. Adamant Nature with Stakeout, First Impression Knockoff, Spikes, and Sticky Webs with the Heavy Duty Boots. Um, this thing is a great Revenge Killer for the Mega Alakazam because First Impression always kills and has priority. So I basically force him to switch out. Um, sticky webs will be great to ensure even speed boost iron bundle uh, can't outspeed me um, and other things like uh, the root can outspeed me talent flame is a whole different story but that's whatever and spikes is just a great way of chipping down his team um, number four is going to be a supporting low key set the clef key Max HP, Max Special Defense, 8th in Special Attack with the Calm Nature and Prankster. Um, three moves uh, as support moves, Magnet Rise, Thunder Wave and Switcheroo. And Draining Kiss for damage and recovery. Um, item is going to be a Lagging Tail, so I want to give the uh, Lagging Tail two things like the Iron Bundle, the Zarud, the Talon Flame, um, Nihi Lego. So he will always have negative priority basically. Um, Magnet Rise is for a pro possible EQ, but I might switch Magnet Rise up because not really sure. Maybe Ni Lego's Earth Power, um, but otherwise I can pretty much wall the Nihi Lego. And yeah, um, st still debating on the Magnet Rise, but you'll see in the battle if I changed it up or not. Uh, number 5 is going to be Sandy Shocks, the special, as a special breaker this week, 88 in defense, max special uh, attack, 168 speed with a timid nature and the proto synthesis of course. 
Uh, rocking a choice scarf, so I will ensure I outspeed everything that's not show scarfed itself. Uh, Volt Switch, Earth Power, Body Press as uh, attacking moves. And Stealth Rocks as... Uh, Scarred Rocks is always great to have them up very fast. Um, yeah, Earth Power will obliterate a Nia Ligo. Um, will do a lot against Mel Metal. Volt Switch is great for momentum, with him having... Um, only the Claydol as a ground type. And Body Press is just a niche thing to have and could be handy um, against something that can take both the Volt uh, Switch and the Earth Power, um, like a Claydol. So, um, yeah, just a coverage move. Um, didn't really have any other move I wanted on the Sandy Shocks. And last but not least, we bring Quaquavel, a physical sweeper and a spinner. Max special, uh, max attack, 12 defense, 244 speed with the Jolly Nature and a Moxie. Aqua Step, Close Combat, Fling and Rapid Spin holding a big nugget. Um, with this speed stat, I ensure I outspeed the Mega Alakazam at a plus one from Aqua Step or Rapid Spin. And uh, Fling is always a KO on the Mega Alakazam, even max HP, or uh, not sure max defense as well, but suddenly max HP. Uh, Fling will OKO with the Big Nugget. Um, were there other things I wanted to use Fling on? Not really sure. Um, but it's some uh, fun tech to have. And Aqua Step Close Combat is just doing a lot of uh, damage to most of his team, if not everything. So, yeah. Makes sense to make Quaquavel my main sweeper again this week. Um, so yeah, looking at his team, what do I expect him to bring? Well, first of all, I expect his route to come. Um, yeah, it is, he doesn't bring it much this season, but I really think it will come. Um, yeah, it just has a pretty good matchup against me. Uh, just like the Melmetal. Um, yeah, it's one of his main kill leaders. Just like the Nihilego, so I really think the Melmetal will come. I expect the Talon Flame to come. Uh, it does have a pretty decent matchup, and Fire Flying is just a great uh, combination to have. Iron Bundle will probably come because of the speed. That's the reason why I think Mega Alakazam will come as well. And last but not least, I do think the, uh, the Raging Bolt. I'm not sure why I wanted to say Nihi Lego. I think Raging Bolt has a bit uh, has a better matchup than the Nihi Lego, so I th expect that to come as well. Um, so yeah, that's the team I'm going to contact with, uh, make contact with SFJ, and yeah, let's go into the battle. So, we are here with SFJ, and his team looks a little bit different than I expected. Um, let's have a look. No Mel Metal, which is pretty nice, even though I did prep pretty well for it. <laughs> uh, bundles are rude, uh, no Talent Flame, I believe. Uh, Raging Bolt, Nihilego Claydol, but no Mistreavers, no Ferrets, and no Hakamo-O. There we go. So, a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Great. Um, looking at his team. Um, if he starts off with Clado, I can start off with my Sandy Shocks. But against everything else, um, I don't even mind starting off with Claire Loki. I think I can Thunder Wave. I can switch Ru on four of his Mons. Um, Spoderman. Against the Lego won't be great. Mm. I think I start off with Loki versus a Rude. Okay. If he is dark, Terra, I can't click um, any of my uh, status moves. But Draining Kiss is a free way to scout what he wants to do. So... 
I can heal off some damage quite well. If I go into Celestila, not that great. Um, U turn, that's fine by me. 7%. Uh, U turn. I guess that will be bandits. Joyce band. Probably adamant bandits. Cladle took 12%. Oh, that's. Klefki. It's not bandit. Okay. Um, versus Klefki, U turn. It's probably adamant. Maybe Jolly, but okay. Um, I have it over Claydol. Taking 12%. Uh, probably Fizz Death, Claydol. Um, I can Magnet Rise and Scout for what he wants to go for. I can go into Juggernaut. I think Magnet Rise will be great. I think he expected these spikes from me, but I do have those on Spoder Man. Um, let's scout. <coughs> let's scout. Magnet Rise. He goes for his rocks. Um, I could click Switch a Rule, but not a fan. I expect him to switch now because I expect a ground psychic type move. He does have the rocks and I expect a rapid spin because he does not have a other way of removing hazards. So I do expect him to switch. He tricks. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, He has my speed, he gets a lagging tail. <laughs> Great interaction there. Um, tricks, stealth rocks, rapid spin, something else. I can just keep uh, chipping away at this thing, I think. EQ. Ah, okay. I see. EQ did 63% into Klefki. Earthquake. So, high roll on a. Okay, let's see if I switch in Quaquavel. Around 30%. But he is in range for Aqua Step, so let's do that. Oh. Well played, sir. Well played. I go back in the door. I go right through into Sandy Shocks because I do not want to take any attack from this Raging Bolt. Right now he's really playing me and I do not like it. Thank you. I can get my rocks off, so let's do that. Claydol. Let's see him spin. There we go. Um, but he has the lacking tail, so Aqua Step is pretty free here to kill this Claydol. And I should be able to outspeed anything he brings in now. I do hope he brings in the, Z the Zam. Yeah, and I went for Aqua Step, not for the Rapid Spin, because I couldn't risk him uh, uh, using a Psychic type move. Because, oh wait, and the trick would have been very bad for me because he would have seen this set. Um, I will be outspeeding Zerud, but he can be 
a Terra type I do not do not like. The rude. Yeah, Power Whip is a KO on me. He does have Dark Fairy and Fighting. If he is pure Dark, Close Combat will kill. Uh, let's see, Fairy. He's still at full. Um, fighting will probably not change much. Fighting. So yeah, I'm definitely going to uh, switch out of here and Celestila takes a power whip pretty well and a close combat very well, so let's do that. Power whip, he misses. That's too bad for him. He doesn't Terra. I expect him to be scarfed now because he didn't go for an attack on Quaquavel. Um, I think he's either going to hard switch on me into probably the Raging Bolt. And if he does that, Sandy Shock's clicking, Earth Power is a lot more free now, by the way, with Clay Doll gone. And he doesn't really have a way of picking up a lead sheet. Um, I can also go for an Iron Defense, but he has four other physical of special attackers, so that's not really useful for me. Um, I think I'll go for a lead sheet. Expected. That was to be expected. I'm switching out into the Raging Bolt. Um, I know T-Bolt. Would he go for it again? Raging Bolt. Call Mind. Thunderbolt will definitely KO me. Um, Dragon Pulse will not. Draco Meteor will definitely kill me if I go into Klefki. A Thunderbolt will definitely kill me. Dragapult doesn't take the Draco. Uh, Spidops doesn't take a Draco either. So it's basically a mind game. Will he go for a Electric type move or a Dragon type move? Um, do I really need Loki? I mean. Switch ruining a Iron Ball into a Bundle or a Nihiligo will definitely be good. Draining Kiss does only get resisted by his Nihiligo. Oh! <sighs> okay, I guess we do that. Coal Mines. So it is a core mindset. Good to know. Um, I am into Klefki. I think I will trick him of Switcheroo. He has lefties. Thunderbolt KOs me. He's at 82% at plus one. Let's see, Sandy Shocks. Earth Power won't kill now. Um, Dragapult KOs from here. Max HP still KOs. Let's let's do that. Dragapult, let's go. Um, and Dragon Darts. Oh, thank God. Okay, we got rid of that. That's nice. What will come in now? Zarud. Um, I really get the idea he's scarfed. Um, Spit ups takes one but not two. 
but getting my sticky webs off will be great. I can take two, by the way, uh, but not after rocks. Um, so I think Stila will be my best bet still. Knockoff, 39%. So yeah, that's probably around that. Um, I am clicking Air Slash because only Nihilego can take one. Oh, that's why I did it. <laughs> Great, thank god. Because I was expecting him not to switch there. <laughs> um, I will definitely get knocked out by a another knockoff. But Celestila really did his job, so I am letting it down. And Spoderman can come in. And I am going to click Sticky Webs. And switch out afterwards because I can live anyone's root hit. And he's really playing it scarfed so far, so. He's gotta fear the first, uh, first impression because that's always KOing the root from this range. I think the Lego is going to be his Terra Captain. Will be Electric, Grass, or Rock, though. Electric will be most annoying, but I do have Scarfed Sandy ch Shocks for that. If he is Terra Grass, I do have Spoderman. If he is Terra Rock, I do have Quavel. So, um, yeah, so far we've been pretty even. The Celestila going down is not all that bad because there we go. Um, Sixty-five percent into Spidops. Yeah, he has been getting a lot of high rolls so far. So maybe Adamant Scarf. If I go for Quack, I did take twenty. 5%, 12% from rocks makes 37. Oh, hey guy. Cat just walked past me. 37 plus another 37. Mm, I'm still pretty good. Let's do that. By the way, he has no way of getting rid of these webs. Spoderman has still at least one switch in. And I think I should refresh because I took a bit of time and he doesn't make a move right away. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I need Spoderman for the Megazam. I really needed to click uh, the first impression on it. <sighs> he had rocks on his Claydol. Chances are Lego will be fully, fully offen offensive. So, if I get rid of rocks now, I will be pretty much set. Bundle switch, okay. And he is. Uh, what you call it? Um, boots. This is bad because he can click freeze dry pretty freely here, and I can do anything about that. So rocks are up to stay, I guess. Um, uh, yeah. Requival. Yeah, I think it has to go down because. 
I need scarfed sandy cheeks for Nihilego and it will outspeed them as well. Uh, Dragapult won't be outspeeding them, but um, it does the Nihilego and uh, bundle so it can come in safely. Yeah, I think I have to sack the Quaquavel here. Substitute! Is this enough? No. Sub bundle. Interesting. Aqua step. I should be outspeeding it now, so I did not see a quark drive activate. Uh, of course, because he has boots. <laughs> um, yeah, I have to break. I have to break his sub. He's probably going to kill me now. Yeah. Too bad for him and for me. Um, yeah, Paul should be able to outspeed it. Dragon Darts will probably be enough against a uh, bundle. Boots bundle into Dragapult. Darts won't be enough. Damn. Well, let's show we are mixed. Into a Zerud. Zerud. Yeah, Thebold is not doing enough. I mean, I do have ways of getting rid of Bundle, knowing it's a uh, boot set. I mean, only Spoderman can't outspeed, but I have priority on that. Oh wait, webs are huge now, because the root, if he is Scarfed, can't switch in, can't switch in on that shot. And revenge kill it after the bundle goes down. And that shot will outspeed everything now. Wow, I did not think <laughs> but the webs will be this huge. Uh, will have such a huge impact now. Claydol down, he can't remove it. I just don't have anything good to hit the knee Lego. But max attack, Drag uh, dragon darts will do chip at least. And I can bring everything down for my uh, my Sandy Shocks. And me not having rocks up anymore ensures Spoderman has still have, has ways of using his uh, first impression. And uh, let's see, first impression into a bundle. Is an Oko into Mega Alakazam. Is an Oko into the root. Oko and Nihilego does take it pretty well. Okay, bundle goes down. Great. I have to say, I wasn't just based off uh, of our records. Me being three and four, he, him being six and one. I did not expect this game to have such a great window for me to break through this team. Um, Nihilego. Lego. Dragapults. Dragon Darts will do great damage. And Spidops might take that thing down. Sandy Shocks into Zerud. Earth. Great. Um, yeah, it's just waiting for him to do his move now. Um, if he's Magic Guard Zam. Does he take webs then? Magic Guard Sticky Webs. Whew. 
good to know for me. <laughs> well, it was 11 years ago, so it may have been updated, but... That means Dragapult will always be faster than anything on the field. That's awesome. Uh, refresh... Did he bring anything in? Didn't he let go? Um, Ni Lego Bolt Terra Gross doesn't change much. Terra Electric. Yeah, Dragon Darts is always the best answer here, so. Terra Electric. Decent. Meteor Beam. He probably yeah, takes me out. Hmm. He's Terra Electric at 31%, so yeah, Earth Power is the only way to go. If I go Spinops, first impression kills. It's, um, Mega Alakazam. I think his special defense is too high. Earth powers are too short, and he can't. He can only two shot me, so. Something is going to die here. Great. Okay. Um. Let's say Megazam goes to minus one, two ninety two. I can take the Let's say Zerud. Ah, Zerud is too fast. Damn it. Because a neutral Sandy Shocks without a scarf won't outspeed. Mm. This is so tough. He's probably going to take me out. Yes. Mega Alaka Sun. He has Psychic. Does a lot, but I should be able to live. Earth power is a two shot, and that's the only thing that can two shot. Well, I think I have to hope for a crit here <laughs> because otherwise, yeah, thirty percent into Zerud. Ain't gonna happen, I guess. Yeah, I really do need a crit here. Or a power whip miss, but... Yeah, knockoff is a guaranteed KO here, so... Well... Let's hope. Ah, damn it. Well, GG, SFJ. Uh... Oh, it's been such a close game. So close. Well, what can I say? Um, 
I don't think I could have played much better. I don't think I made many misplays here, so yeah. He just outplayed me, fair and square. Um, can't say much about it. Um, GG's, and yeah, let's hope I can get a W next week against Small F and clinch playoffs that way. Uh, thank you all for watching, hope you had a good one, and hopefully see you all next week. Bye!